Howdy, 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 Zach Scott here with another quick Source Filmmaker tutorial. Uh, a bunch of people have been asking me about doing uh, iPySoft tutorials, so uh, showing you guys how to use the motion capture software iPySoft to, uh, you know, make your own animations. I am uh, unfortunately still a little too ill to uh, do some jumping around and showing you guys uh, how to do the full process, but I figure I'd start with a tutorial showing you guys how to do something else that's really neat with iPySoft, which is how to create a custom mocap profile rig for, uh, you know, non-standard exotic models. Like, uh, as you can see here, I've got a Chell, Atlas, and uh, a turret here doing uh, some funky animation that I had already recorded beforehand. Um, but in each of these cases, I had to create a new uh, mocap profile for them. So I'm just going to quickly go through the process of doing that here with uh, Peabody. And uh, hopefully you can learn how to do that yourself. So uh, the first thing you're going to want to do is uh, have some mocap ready. Um, I'm not going to cover that here in this tutorial, but there are many, many iPySoft tutorials that you can use to uh, get that sort of thing set up. Um, and we're just going to want to uh, drop in Atlas or the Eggbot as a uh, usable uh, rig. So first, I'm going to export him. So all I need to do is, with him in his default pose, export a single animation of him. I'm just going to call that uh, Eggbot. And uh, within iPySoft, in my um, animation that I already have set up here, I'm going to import my target character. So I'm just going to go and select that character that I just uh, exported. So Eggbot. And there we go. We have successfully brought in Eggbot Skeleton. Um, it's a bit of a tricky skeleton that he has uh, with a whole bunch of different moving parts. So this is going to be a bit exploratory, but uh, we'll see how far we can get. Um, so the first thing I'm going to want to do is just uh, look at all these uh, empty bones in the motion transfer profile section of iPySoft. So uh, you can see here how everything is unused. If I were to drop in a, a more regular character like a demo ran, uh, you see that all of these are, are nice and pre-populated because uh, iPySoft is just uh, smart enough to do that. But um, with something like Eggbot, we got to do it ourselves. So I'm just going to drop him back in. And uh, I'm just going to get started. So um, for any of these bone names, if I ever get confused as to what bone uh, I need to use, I can just go back into Source Filmmaker and um, look at his uh, bone list and kind of just puzzle it out from there. But it's going to be a little bit of trial and error here. So uh, starting with his root bone, which uh, you're always going to want to start with his hip, I'm just going to grab that and set his hip to his root bone. So boom. And already you can see that now he is bouncing around. So uh, just moving down the line. Actually, I'm going to skip the spines and come back to them because I know with Eggbot they're going to be real tricky. And I'm just going to go straight to arms. So um, right clavicle. So right clavicle would be his shoulder. So it's going to be this uh, kind of shouldery plate. I think that is going to be something weird. So I'm going to zoom in and kind of just take a look at what that bone is. Uh, so it's... This right clav plate bone, so R clav plate joint. So I'm going to make his right shoulder and his left shoulder be R clav plate joint. So right clavicle will be, again, R clav point joint. Where are you? R, 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 R. R. There's left clav plate joint. Right clav plate joint. Okay, so there's his right clavicle, and then moving down the arm, right shoulder will be a little easier to find. So that's just going to be his bicep R. So bicep R. Where is bicep A R? What? No, I just want bicep R. Hmm. Where are these bones at? This thing is a giant list of annoying stuff. So bicep A R. Okay, bicep A R. I guess is what it's called here. Yeah, they all have an A on them. So uh, forearm will be elbow A R. I guess. So elbow A R. Elbow, elbow, elbow. Elbow A L. Elbow A R. Elbow A R. Uh, I happen to pick the one rig where uh, this list is a big pain in the butt to read. Uh, bicep A R. Elbow A R. Okay. And then his hand is going to be wrist A R. So wherever that elbow was. And uh, wrist AR. So there's his uh, right arm, and uh, just going to repeat that process for his left arm. So again, the weird clavicle plate, which is going to be L clav plate joint. Oops. L clav plate joint for his left clavicle. So L clav plate joint. 
if you spot it before me, just uh, shout it out, and uh, you know I'll hear that and ignore it and do it myself anyway. Um, so then moving on, I'm going to be looking for uh, bicep L, uh, bicep AL probably. Bicep, 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 bicep AL, and then elbow AL, and then for the hand, wrist AL. And as you can see, uh, we have the hip and arms working now. So uh, let's get down to the legs. Uh, you can leave the fingers blank because uh, the connects aren't really accurate enough to capture them, so it's kind of pointless to set them up. Maybe when the uh, new connect starts working for the PC, we'll be able to fix that, uh, hopefully. That'd be cool. Uh, so let's just go, uh, go, blah, 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 go down to the legs. So right thigh is going to be something like right thigh, I think. It's simple stuff. Wherever the hell that is. Right thigh. Right spinner. Thigh AR. Okay. And then the shin is going to be knee AR. Or knee, yeah, knee AR. The bone names here are just names I know from having worked with these models quite a lot. Uh, he doesn't have a foot, but we're going to use ankle. And uh, his left, uh, right leg is now working. Uh, also do toes, because iFiSoft is good enough to handle toes. Um... Though I don't know which toe to grab. Index toe, ankle toe, ankle group joint. I'll just try that one. Let me look at the real model and see what's handling his toes here. So, toe base, mid. Okay, toe base, joint. All right. So his proper toe would be toe base joint. So, whatever toe base joint. Yeah, index toe base joint. But I want to do that for the... Uh, Oh, crap, I've got his right foot on his left leg. Let me fix that, too. Whoops. Sloppy, sloppy, sloppy. And then right toe base joint. There we go. And let's do the same for the left leg. So, again, we're going to go for thigh, and then knee, ankle for foot, and then toe base joint, foot base joint, whatever, close enough. And as you can see, our mocap profile is now moving his arms and his legs appropriately. Uh, let's go back and deal with that spine, because that spine is going to be tricky. Uh, I'm going to do a quick save here and just give a name for this Eggbot profile that works. So the reason the spine is tricky is because Peabody has a uh, kind of unique sort of setup here where he has his, uh, whoops, he has his spine one, which is controlling his spine. He also has his uh, additional spine bone, which moves his, his shoulders kind of there. Um, he has spine 1.3, which is uh, also moving his shoulders. And then if I drill down into his unknown bones, he has a lot of other things that affect this too. So core bone XYZ is another one that affects his upper half. Uh, and then he has yet another one that affects even above that ball section. Um, core bone XYZ... I think Corbone XYZ, I want to make his neck. Um, but this is going to be tricky because I also want to have his shoulders follow that. And as you can see, they do not by default follow that. I'm not 100% sure how I'm going to rig that up, but uh, I should be able to find some way to do it. So, yeah, so you can see his whole chunk of, uh, his whole body is just a big old cluster of uh, items here, so... Um, what I'm going to do is start with by setting up that XYZ bone for his, hmm. See, what I'm eventually going to do is assign some of these bones to, uh, lower spine, middle spine, chest, neck, and head. Um, but which ones I do for that, uh, can be pretty tricky. I really wish you could assign multiple bones here in iPySoft, uh, that would make things a lot easier. Maybe there's a way and I just don't know it yet. I should probably look into that. Um, actually, I'm going to pause this and Google that real quick. Yeah, I took a quick peek around and uh, I didn't see anything immediately apparent that would be useful. So uh, we're just going to bumble our way through this and see what we get. So um, actually, it would be a great time to just throw this into uh, SFM and see what it's looking like without the uh, spine setup. So I'm just going to export this, so general. And uh, I'll call that eggbot test. Eggbot test one. So over here in SFM, I'm going to make a quick copy of him just for, for the sake of my own purposes. 
and uh, scoot you over somewhere where you're not in the way. And on the original Eggbot, I will apply the uh, animation that we just reprofiled. So, import, eh, import animation, and I'm just going to grab uh, Eggbot test. So, e e e e e e e Eggbot test. Oops. And uh, there we go. So, as you can see, we now have a Eggbot doing uh, all the animations that everybody else is doing. Um, by default, he's uh, kind of working pretty okay. Um, there's a bit of clipping around his legs, just uh, but that'll almost always happen with Eggbot. Um, he's tricky, but his shoulders look nice, and uh, his head looks nice. I almost don't even really need to deal with his spine, but I want to try, because, for example, with Atlas, um, retargeting his uh, main ball to his head is uh, super useful and good. Um, you don't see it in this particular animation just because it doesn't have a ton of head movement, but it's uh, it's very nice to do that. So I'm going to try and get that here, um, but it might not work just because of his crazy uh, spine. But let's try it. So lower spine. I'm going to make you XYZ. Where is XYZ? Corbone XYZ. Middle spine, you're going to be... Uh, hmm. How about... Corbone XY only. Let's see, where are your Corbones? Corbone, Corbone, where are you at? Z only. No, not Z only. Not XY only. Whoa. Whoa. That's weird. Uh, yeah. Looking at this, I don't think this is going to be super effective, but uh, we'll try anyway. It might look super messed up. Z only. Chest. I think I will make the chest whatever that previous spine function was. So, what are you? Spine 1-3. Chest. You can be spine 1-3. And then now, if I look at this, let's see what our uh, results are now. I'm just going to re-export this. Export general uh, eggbot test two. Now I can just bring that animation on to our buddy over here, eggbot two. Import animation. And uh, grab Eggbot Test 2, and let's see what the difference is. So you can see already that one of them's got his arms in a slightly different location. Let's see if that looks any worse. Remember, this is the guy with the fixed spine, so uh, something looks janked up down at the legs already. But I think the uh, top of the spine actually benefits a bit. Um, when you're making custom rigs like this, eh, I think that's okay. That's not the best, but it isn't terrible. Um, when you're making custom rigs like this, uh, trial and error is going to be a very big part of it. Um, I think I'm going to go in and uh, attach his eye to the head bone as well, just so that looks around. So where's the eye bone? Eye bone. Cool. I'm going to save this rig, and I'm going to drop it on a uh, better animation here. Oops. File, import, open project, uh, new intro line, two. Let's drop in Eggbot. I just want to get that uh, eye, eye animation going so that you can see what a uh, difference that makes. Kind of rigging the eye of Eggbot to the head uh, is pretty sweet. So Eggbot test three. I'll have to put that in the proper folder. Save. All right, and let's throw that on there too now. So uh, keeping a close eye on his eye, we'll uh, see what happens. So yeah, this will be a very different animation, but yep. So already you can see that he's kind of looking down, but yeah, so it needs a bit of tweaking, but um, 
getting that nice little uh, movement in there kind of helps us to uh, get some easy uh, secondary animation going. Needs a bit of cleanup, yeah. But uh, all in all, it could be uh, it could be worse, uh, especially for such a weird rig like uh, Eggbot. Um, I think the results with Atlas were a little bit nicer, um, but uh, yeah, that's how you make a custom mocap profile. Peace.